Our trade union interests and pressure groups also make serious influence on foreign policy making. There is no doubt that, generally speaking, these are the one of the most important people. When we consider trade union groups and interest groups, there are so many in Nigerians and they have serious impact in foreign policy making in Nigeria. We have uh, Nigerian Liberal Congress, we have Christian Association of Nigeria, we have Ariwa Constitutive Forum, we have Oranese Indibo, we have uh, um, Afeniferi Group, we also have IPOP. All these people have serious impacts on foreign policy making because when they are not aligned with certain objective, foreign policy objective, they agitate against it and force the government to pursue alternative, alternative uh, policy uh, objective in, uh, implementation. So there is no doubt that, generally speaking, they help shape foreign policy. However, the significance of public opinion in foreign policy formulation almost entirely depends depends on the society, the kind of society. And in Nigeria, we have, we have a, an heterogeneous society. We have different ethnic group. We have two major religious group. It becomes difficult to make a foreign policy objective if they are not in line with these two groups. In a close and a totalitarian system where the press is muzzled by the government and the foreign policy officials are not under intense pressure to consider the several alternatives usually offered by the public opinion. Foreign policy is essentially the progressive of the head of state and top foreign policy officials. But in Nigeria, where we are practicing democracy now, and all these major ethnic and religious groups have influence in the government, they try to muzzle up the government and try to make sure they listen to them. In such society, public opinion is not suppressed. Images and attitudes of the foreign policy elite are elements that mold foreign policy. For example, Hitler and Nord and foreign ministers rely on images and attitudes to take decisions that are committed in the outbreak of the, foreign, of, of the Second World War. The, the Babangida decisions during the organization of Islamic countries saw serious agitations from the Christian Association of Nigeria. Even Abacha decision to join uh, the D8 group also saw serious agitation. That's why the fact that those two governments and military governments saw serious agitations from the Christian Association of Nigeria. So, so most, most entirely, Nigerian pressure groups and trade union interest groups have influence in foreign policy formulation in Nigeria. Even the, the abandonment of the Anglo-Nigerian defense part of 1958 was asked to be jettisoned through the agitations made by the student of the University of Ibadan. You understand? So, entirely in Nigeria, because of our heterogeneous society and because of our large population, that tend to be serious influence from the trade unionists and interest group in foreign policy formulations in Nigeria. In these sessions, we have been able to demonstrate how domestic factors influence foreign policy formulations. We also look at how various agents in foreign policy makings. And in the next class, we shall be considering the influence of external factor in foreign policy making. Thank you very much.